Hey, good afternoon. Jeff Roper here out the weather window and some blue skies around here. Bright sunshine. We're above average with our temperatures. Normally we'd be in the mid 60s, but I think you can shed that jacket or hoodie and uh, use your shirt sleeves for the afternoon because uh, it will be warmer. I fixed it. Yep, sunshine. Somebody taught me a lesson. It's going to be in the mid to upper 70s on into our afternoon today and even warmer into tomorrow. We may set a record or at least tie it into tomorrow afternoon. But look how these temps are going to pop into the mid to upper 70s for today. So that's about 10 degrees above where we should be. Yesterday's high hit 72 degrees. Our average for this time of the year, 66. Now, if we hit 80 degrees tomorrow, we will tie that record. I don't think we're going to bust out the low temperature records because we're above that as well at about 40. We start the mornings and normally this time of year about 35 degrees. Currently over Idaho Falls, bright sunshine and 67 and the sun will go down tonight at 702. So know that the days are getting shorter and it's a little chillier in the morning. It's 64 degrees at PIH. Those are the uh, that's the acronym for the Pocatello International <sighs> Jetport. Uh, and 61 along US 30 and we don't have a report from I-15 right now, but uh, just trust me when I tell you it's bright. It's bright at night too in Jackson Hole. The arches are pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. We love it. Thanks for this photo and please send us your local landmarks. It is 55 degrees there in Jackson Hole, 64 in Driggs, 62 in Soda, 58 in Salmon and about 54 degrees into West Yellowstone, 55 in Stanley, a little warmer into Boise for the afternoon. I think uh, today's going to be one of those days where if you can get out of work early, you should because it's going to be nice. It will be a, a little breeze out in the northwest. It makes things chilly in the morning, but it feels really good in the afternoon. Uh, so you may want to keep your long britches on uh, for the afternoon. We're going to be in the mid to upper 70s around here, about 78 peaking for Pocatello, and it'll be 71 into Driggs. Now get a good look at the map. This is everybody's hometown. Uh, I know everybody else loves those eight-day forecasts, but we can zoom in on our on our Viper. And when you do that, you all have the chance to uh, check out your hometown forecast as well. Someone is cooking something in the microwave. I smell it here in the TV station. I want to know what it is. Emma, can you go find out, please? I think it's shepherd's pie. I wish you, we need to know it. It's meat of some sort. Who's cooking something somewhere? If you're listening in the cafetorium, give me a hollow. Let's talk about the big the big forecast here as we get into next week because there's a change coming. This large blue Smurf like uh, symbol is uh, cold air. And as we get into Monday night and Tuesday, it's going to wrap around here and change things up for us. So the jet stream is going to drop. We're going to get some Arctic air in here, and we may have a bit of winter weather to contend with as we start next week. So enjoy this Chamber of Commerce above seasonal average weather right now with this bold sunshine with nothing going on because there's something brewing. And it will be here next week. 72 in Soda, 75 in Preston, 72 Montpelier Burn, 76 for Malad and McCammon. It'll be 71 in Lava Hot Springs this afternoon at about 70 degrees or pushing 70 into Afton and Freedom, Wyoming. Thanks for listening over there too on QP99. You know we're on 1071. So you can hear us in the morning with the news and information you need. And then you can turn on the TV too. We're right here. You may have to put up an antenna. Just make sure it's an amplified antenna to catch us over there. Uh, Pinedale is going to be about 65. All right, so we get into the upper highlands. It's going to be in the low 60s to upper 60s from uh, Old Faithful on into West Yellowstone. 75 St. Anthony, 76 in Rexburg, 71 Drigg, 74 Swan Valley. And we'll be right there uh, freezing. Did we find out what it was? Can Pork, pulled according pork. to Scott. It's pulled it's pork. Brian's pulled pork. It's Brian's. I don't know where Brian's. Brian, where's Brian? Brian's are having know. lunch, and we he's can smell it in the studio. He's eating his pulled pork somewhere. It is lunchtime. He's having <laughs> a barbecue sandwich. <sighs> Eat everything but the oink. 76 for salmon, 77 in chalice, 72 in ketchup, 72 in Mackey, and 72 in Arco. For the Snake River Valley today, beautiful sunshine. We're in the mid to upper 70s, 74 at the home of TV. Rigby, Idaho, and 78 into Aberdeen. 78 in Burley as well. Here's your local news. Eight day extended forecast minus the barbecue sauce will be in the mid to upper 70s and we won't see a big change uh, until we get into next week and those temperatures will drop a good 20 degrees. It looks like as we head toward midweek Tuesday night and on into Wednesday it looks like a change around here, but it will be bright. You'll enjoy some light breezes, maybe a few clouds there into the upper valley areas and central mountains. 77 a day and salmon will uh, drop it down just a few degrees as we head toward the weekend. So we're coming off of this uh, really large dome of high pressure as it's 
scoots and uh, we'll see some fog probably into tomorrow morning into Jackson. We saw some earlier today too. We'll be freezing at night or they're close to it. It'll be uh, in the upper 60s there in Moose and uh, Wilson. It'll be 78 for Pocatello, then closer to 80. We may hit a record temperature for this time of the year as we approach the upper 70s tomorrow with lows in the 40s. Back to you. All right, thanks, Jeff. Well, coming up next, if you need or want